Well, I mean, let's say that we somehow managed to get through the next, was it three years now of, of his uh, term? And let's say that he doesn't get elected again because of how unpopular he is. But, I mean, I think that the system itself is broken. And it doesn't really matter if we get rid of Donald Trump or we get rid of his cabinet or, you know, the people that he's put into power. Yeah. It, it just seems, I mean, I feel like the same issues were in maybe less extreme ways, but we're manifesting under the Obama administration or the Bush, you know, previous administrations. And we're, we're in, we're in total agreement. Yeah. In other words, <clears throat> I've been discussing with a lot of my colleagues and we all were two years ago, utterly distressed by the, the, the way the system is working, the grow, 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 regardless of what you wipe out and what you do to your life support systems. Uh, the thing that's stunning is that, the whole thing has been, you know, we thought maybe we had a few decades at that time. Now that time is shrinking dramatically because of everything that's being done actively to push for the collapse. Mm. And uh, what I agree with you. I think Trump is just a symptom. just a loser uh, who managed in various ways to get into a position of power, but he doesn't have any idea what to do with the power. Mm -hmm. uh, and. What's even more scary to me and should be scary to you is he strikes me as the sort of person that if it's finally revealed to the public uh, what a criminal swine he is, he's likely to try and divert attention from that uh, by starting a war in the mm -hmm. Korean Peninsula. Uh, all the people I know who follow the nuclear war situation, and I know many of them because I worked with them in the days of the nuclear winter seas, uh, think that the nuclear war situation is more dangerous today than any time during the Cold War. Mm -hmm. So you want to talk about what we're going to do to biodiversity and ourselves, there's a number one issue to worry about. Right. Well, it, something that I think has come up, talking about that, the threat of nuclear uh, war, or, you know, nuclear um, engagement, is, isn't it true that essentially the president could just decide to launch nuclear weapons and there really wouldn't be much to hinder him from doing so except maybe of course his advisors and you know his generals that are near him saying no you shouldn't do this but uh, as far as i can understand he doesn't have to go through very many steps uh, that, that says i understand it too there is yeah. apparently some movement <clears throat> some movement but i'm afraid it's just probably among democrats in congress to change the law so that he can't single-handedly destroy the world and by the way a, even a small nuclear war, say, between India and Pakistan, would end civilization as we know it. There's a big literature on that as well. But, uh, yeah. yeah, it's extremely scary to have a psychopath. We actually have uh, a situation in which, as far as I can tell, we have two nuclear powers, one coming along in North Korea and ours, uh, each run by somebody who is – uh, psychopathic, who's mentally ill and very dangerous. And mm -hmm. uh, more and more people are recognizing that and even talking about it. But I'm afraid that, it, that it's, the likelihood is that the Republicans will not impeach Trump. And of course, he's backed up by a team of idiots. Uh, so that you, you really, I think you have to impeach about 15 people before you find somebody with an IQ uh, over 20. And um, the, uh, the the whole situation is close to desperate.